It's all about power. Grabbing it, keeping it, using it. Power is our currency, our DNA, our god. We control the world. We provide the blueprint and we give the instructions. We're the people in grainy photos on grassy knolls. We're the shadowy faces in smoky back rooms and darkened boardrooms. We're right here, hiding in plain sight, buying and selling favors. Blackmail, treason, deceit, these are our stock in trade. We work the magic of the drunken evenings with senators and chiefs of staff. We shake down demons and negotiate with sorcerers. We have stocks in hell and compromising photos of angels. We use any means necessary regardless of the cost because the world is a bad place and you can either do or get done. We're the Illuminati and we're not done. so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? 
I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. called symbolism and depicted in Grand Theft Auto 5. One of the first images you are confronted with, is a giant sized framed picture of an all seeing eye. This one is stylized seemingly to disguise what it really is. This image is prominently displayed in one of the main characters homes. Next on the left is a poster of an all seeing eye, this is followed by a reptilian eye in a star. Again this is in a game character's home. This character is known as a genius in the game. He seems to know everything. Then there is the numerous casual remarks of different occult words. New World Order, Illuminati, Darwinian. Fucking pyramid scheme, bull****. Pyramid is good, man. Illuminati, Pharaoh. Ortega lives near here, let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas, man. The Aztecas. Just a name. 
Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky? And one of those lizard people? I would get done! It would be Darwinian. Hey, look, dude. When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. He did die! You reptilian mother... I didn't want it to come to this. And here is the Eye of Ra. She slide me a few dollars or something, you know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here to say. Oh, yeah, my nigga, that's nothing. I know you done went all Illuminati, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street in the back, but... Man, uh, way to keep it down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment. One of the characters even sports a t-shirt with an all-seeing eye. This character is depicted as a UFO nut. These mother on the sky, dog! All-seeing eye gonna cause us trouble. Clap them, homie! There's been all these, uh, Meriwether folks hanging around? Meriwether security consultant. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um... I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO and investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a moron. Fuck on that, Meriwether! John Percival, Devin Weston! All the rest of you Illuminati sons of... What was that, T? I told you! That was Meriwether. Those choppers? And that ain't normal private security guards. Yeah, you're right. I have it on good authority that they're actually a lizard army who's taking human form to do the bidding of the New World Order. I hope you can flip this thing fast, because I don't want to see those reptile buddies of yours ever again. Oh, I don't know if it's for me, homie. My life's already way out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you at Okay, I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up war, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Was there something else? something
Not yet, but soon. We have made our own mistakes, became insulated from the world we sought to control. But that will change, and you will help us change even as we teach you. And who are we? Who are we really? We are the Invisible Hand. We are the Illuminati. We come before and after. We are forever. And eventually, eventually, we will lead them into the day. Knowing as we do, we wait for you, Desmond. You will come here. You will activate it. You will be My name is Dr. Winston Cray. I have been here since the beginning. My life's work has been to untangle the mysteries buried within the DNA of man and the others. To fulfill a pact and in turn become the linchpin for a new world order. Circumstances have changed. For the uninitiated, I am Mr. White. My real name is unimportant. I am the facilitator of Dreamland. Yes, the maker of dreams. Some have called our plans a Luciferian conspiracy. But they will not say such things after the coming of the new guard. The chips we've implanted in the majority of the population under the guise of vaccinations allow us to watch the watchers. And now, a message from the great leader of the occupied United States. Greetings to our comrades, citizens of the new America. For the last two years, you have known sacrifice. And you have known loss. But surely as dawn follows night, a brilliant sun now shines across the world. It is the light of prosperity and progress. And the burning torch of peace. Congratulations, Agent. Peace at last. You overthrew the world's most evil criminal masterminds and their dominant empires. You have returned law and order to Pacific City. You gave the people back their lives. Thank you. <laughs> it's taken years of meticulous planning and patience to reach this stage, but it was worth it. Who do you think supplied Los Muertos? Who do you think turned a blind eye to the Volk's activities? Who do you think was Shai Jen's biggest supporter? Who do you think ran organized law enforcement and ran it into the ground? The people had to experience absolute anarchy before they would accept unconditional control. You are the portent of a new world order agent. Pacific City was only the beginning.
Assassin's Creed Mega Blockbuster video game franchise. There's a constant theme of Illuminati, Luciferian, and Satanic symbolism throughout games. Desmond walks up to the eagle I see writing all over the wall with what appears to be a demon head as well. And as you progress further in the room, you'll see all over the room is Illuminati and Satanic references everywhere. This is something I found really interesting. Here, I mean, you got the Illuminati period and the sun worship, but the reference to the forbidden fruit and the tree of knowledge of good and evil really ties it in and shows their true colors. The Illuminati are Luciferians, satanically inspired, to bring about the one world government talked about in Revelation. And all throughout this game, you're looking at their symbolism. You're worshipping their symbolism. But it's not just the symbolism we have to worry about. If we really think about it, these games are starting to take on themes. Building better worlds. It's got the pyramids all inside the W. That's a New World Order reference. Right here at the beginning of this Aliens vs. Predator game, the Predators have the same symbolism with the Mayas and the Aztecs used for the sun, and when constructed in the same exact type of pyramids that they used for sacrificing of children to demonic gods. Here it looks like the gates of hell with two Predators standing guard. And then an illumination happens once the unlocking occurs, and a great light shoots out of the pyramid and illuminates the top of it. Guys, this is not a video to condemn or judge anyone for playing games. I was a video gamer. I spent hours a day playing video games, but there's a point where we gotta be honest with ourselves. We're like, look at this aiming reticle, man. And all throughout this game, you were forced to stare at this pyramid, this red pyramid juggling around your fate. We're just gonna stay ignorant and say, oh no, they're not trying to push any symbolism at us. Look, he just killed a guy and threw up his hands. What did he do? Oh, that was for the jump. No, look at the way he threw up his hands in the same pyramid that all of Hollywood is using. The same pyramid symbolism. The same throwing up the hands in praise, worshipping the pyramid, worshipping the Illuminati Luciferian pyramid. And now you have to do it with your avatar. Later on in the game, we see who's behind this manipulation tool that's so violent they love it. It's the Illuminati, and I hate calling them that, really they're the Luciferians, and it really gives an accurate description of the evil we're dealing with. Now Bioshock Infinite's a drastic case, but I want you guys to realize this symbolism is in all video games. These influences are in all video games. This is the symbol for Link right here, and this is the symbol for the Knights Templar. It's the same exact thing, guys. The pyramid, the all-seeing eye right here. You have a little illuminated creature flying above Link. It says this statue, one eyes gaze, pierces into your mind. With that, the illuminations there. He's fighting a demonic creature with the illuminated all-seeing eye pyramid. All-seeing eyes everywhere. The Highland Family Crest is symbolized sun worship and Baphomet worship. Right there. It's Satan, guys. It's Satan. Right here, one of the tasks for the game, you take gems and lay them before an altar for the sun in a temple. And when you finish this task, the pyramid gets illuminated. Guys, how much clearer do they have to make it until you're going to realize that this is the world. This is the world. Here's Skyrim. This is a game that, that, that takes hours of people's lives. Hours of it. This is their second life. What does it have? Upside down pentagrams with uh, eyeballs in them. Upside down pentagram with an eyeball in it. They have temples with upside down pentagrams and eyes in them, man. What does this look like to you? This looks satanic. Look at it. It's satanic, man. Right here, the Skyrim character with the darkened right eye, the evil right eye. Hollywood is using this same symbol all of the time. It is the symbol of the beast. It is the symbol of the beast. They are subliminally getting us ready with all the things that we like to like the beast. That is what they are doing. These are the foot soldiers of Satan seeking to push God out. And these games are a part of it. That's what we need to see. They are all pushing the same satanic themes. Right here, the Bible strictly forbids against witchcraft, which you'll see this game is laden with occultic arts and, and demonic worship. This man is resurrected not by the power of Christ, but by dark magic. And we've been desensitized so much by these things, it doesn't even phase us. This is one of the gods in the game, Julianos. You go to her temple, and you worship there to get skill points. Her symbol is a pyramid with, with the rays of the sun coming off it. This is one of the pyramids from her temple. And as you can see when you highlight the lines, it has the same symbolism that the Freemasons use. 
Guys, we need to wake up. We need to see this new world order plot and how they are using the things that we like against us. Look at this. For your skill points, you have to use astrology. You have to use anything but, but things of Christ. That's what it's all about, guys. Anything you want. That's what the Satanists believe. Do as thou wilt. Do as you want. So Lucifer the light bearer brought them their knowledge. And now they're passing it on. They're trying to fulfill the mission that he has laid out before them. This whole game. The Bible strictly forbids against witchcraft. He's in the Bible also says. If you kill your brother in your heart. Then it's the same as doing it. So we're practicing witchcraft in our heart. Oh man I'm a mage. Yeah. Then that's what we're doing. The satanic imagery is here. And we are dark magicians now because we play this game God sees it as all the same he knows our hearts guys this is satanic this is the beast system how much more clear do they have to make it before it doesn't sit well with us love not the world or the things of the world for if you love the world the love of the father's not with you you won't find buildings with Christ painted that big on it even in kid games you see the eye symbolism in the game you have to run up and bow down before eyes that are right below a pyramid with an illuminated top. This is worship, guys. These people are slaves. They are getting you ready to worship the beast, even with kid games.